What's going on guys, it's Diffuse, and today I'm going to bring you guys a little tutorial on how to use Pulsar AIO. So if you guys didn't know already, Pulsar and Flips are partnered together. So as long as you have a current Flips membership, you will have Pulsar available to you. Pulsar is basically Flips tools, but repackaged in a cleaner UI. It's a lot easier to use, and it's significantly faster. So um, those are the main things that have been improved. If you go to the tool section, this is where our, um, the tools are. One of the main issues before was you couldn't use the link opener and the invite zoner at the same time. Um, that's not a problem anymore. You don't have to go to the dashboard to, you know, activate and deactivate different keys. It's all done here for you now. So once you activate this pulser, you'll be good. You can click run. There's a link opener. You can click joiner. There's a joiner. Very simple, especially if you have a couple things going on at the same time, you know. It's really easy to be able to run both now. No problems. So first off, I'm going to make this tutorial just so that you can follow this step by step because there's going to be a lot of questions when people download it. And um, I want to try to limit uh, you know stuff that we can answer quickly so that people that actually need help that doesn't work we can help out and we can weed through that so first off I'll go through the link opener it doesn't really matter but we'll do this first first go to discord go to your settings make sure you have appearance and you uh, have developer mode on because this is gonna make it so that you can copy channel IDs by right-clicking them it's a lot easier to do this with this way so um, when this is on I have a test server right here if you right-click this you can see how copy ID is an option it just makes it easier to get it so that you can easily change channels if you had to so you put that in there um, monitor tokens up top so if you don't know how to find that just hold control shift and I go to network and then type in the filter type in science and then hold control and R to refresh your discord so you can see it's the first click always the first science here even if there's a couple scroll down go over to the headers tab and then uh it's authorization right here that's your monitor token so just copy that paste it into there and then your keyword is whatever the tool is going to monitor for links so it depends on what kind of restock it is if it's bulko or cyber or whatever it may be um you can run just cyber or you can do cybersold.io with uh at the end here i th i think keen recommends to do it this way so that's why i do it but i think you can get away with doing cyber too either way um after that make sure your options these are both ticked we well, don't need the sound but i think it's nice and then you can click save and start that's going to bring up the log here so this is basically your telltale way to what know whether it's working or not because the tool will tell you what are the text messages and it'll open the links for you and stuff like that so if this doesn't detect anything either your token or your channel ID is wrong or your keywords but I'll show what I'm talking about so if we go here let's say it's a cyber restock for example get this link go here gotta give it a lot, like around 30 seconds before you start spamming messages because sometimes it won't work yet but if you do this you can see how fast it opens it. it plays a little sound just so you know that a new tab has been opened but it's really fast and you can't really tell by this video but it's faster than the flip tools that we have now like I just used it on the Qbot restock about 40 minutes ago and it's definitely uh, noticeable so you can go to here and you'll see the logs here that say message found keyword which was cyber or cybersoul.io and then UR, URL opened so if you don't see any of this and it just says please wait then again one of these is wrong because there's no other way around it if you have these two properly in there there's no there's no way it doesn't work because it just it, it works flawlessly every single time so um yeah so you can stop that i'll close that one out do the invite joiner invite joiner is pretty simple as well um all you have to do here is put your main monitor token which is the server or the discord account that this, you're joined in on the server so let's say for example flips was having um, a group buy for discord invites for a different bot or something if you wanted to do that all you would have to do is you would get the monitor token from your account which is the same monitor token that I have pasted in there that's the same thing I use for the cyber thing put that in there then you would copy this channel ID and then for this monitor token if you want to join or join the invite on this account you would make this the same but let's say you wanted to make it on a burner because you wanted to sell the discord account after so you could do a fresh discord account um, and you can go here this is a fresh one this is a burner you can go and do literally the same thing I did before my main and refresh it 
and this way you can join the invite on this account instead of your the account that your um, monitor token is actually in because you need to have a monitor token that's in the actual server it doesn't you can't just like randomly be in there so you put that in there you click save and then you'd click um, start so that way if there was a group buy for an invite posted in here automatically it would just get kicked to this uh, discord account and it would just automatically join it and you would see it over here and it wouldn't join on this one so when you put this in here it's not going to join on both it's just going to whatever this second line of text is that's what the account is going to be joined on so if you want it on your main account if you want the bot or whatever it may be on your main account then you would copy this and you'd paste it again in here and you click save if you don't then you get another different um, monitor token and you would throw it in here and then you would click save and start and make sure you have the right channel ID and then you check the logs and it'll say invite detected and successfully joined. That's how you know it worked. So yeah, that's that's that. Um, lastly, if you want to use a webhook tester, you can do that too. This is just to make sure webhooks are working on your um, server. So like I said, I have this little I have this little test server that I got going on. Uh, you can go in here. You just got to go to edit channel, webhook, and then you go in, edit, copy that you'd paste it in here and you could do like diffuse testing pull up the discord pull up this save send webhook and you can see that it pops up so this is just a little tool if you want to make sure your webhooks working on your server properly you can do this and you can use that and it's pretty easy to use too that's really it it's like i said it's pretty self-explanatory um not much to it but again there can be some things that can trip you up so Follow this guide step by step. If you have any other questions, ask in chat, ask in um, a ticket. You can make a ticket if you want, and we'll just help you as soon as we can. So that's really it, man. Hope you guys cook these bot restocks, man. This is really, really good. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.